Yay! <laughs> Guys, it's about 7 o'clock in the morning. It's our last day here in the Isle of Wight today, and we're going to start the day by getting in the hot tub. Aren't we? <laughs> she doesn't look impressed, but I said it was a good idea. So. I am steaming after that, literally. have one last look at the lodge before we go and there it is sad times so sad sad times here comes Jay right we're gonna go and get a full English breakfast now and then um, obviously we're not catching a ferry till five so it gives us a bit of time to do something in the Isle of Wight breakfast on yum yum it was, it was, nice. it was pretty yummy really good She's gone up there. This girl, this girl is obsessed. Right, so every every night we've been on this, and even now after breakfast, she's obsessed with the car game. Little petrol head, huh? Bella? She like cars. That and this uh, Jurassic Park game. Shooting dinosaurs, hey? You like the big scary dinosaurs? I'm gonna shoot them. Get them. Bang, bang, bang. <laughs> Give a thumbs up. So we came here, we were going to go for a drive around Freshwater uh, just to get a great view of the, the roads and the hills and everything. Took a detour into Bembridge Airport and it now turns out that me and Cheryl are going up in a helicopter. Can you believe it? What a nice way to end a lovely week in the Isle of Wight though, hey? Should be, should be interesting. Holly's now. At least you can say you've done it, you've been on a helicopter, yeah? Yeah. Good.
It was insane. Yeah. What an experience. Didn't think we were going to be doing that today. Um, we came in here purely by chance and ended up going for a flight, but yeah, it was amazing. Like, how how do you feel now? Because you were so nervous about going up there, but how do you feel about? I'm happy I could cry because it was just incredible, absolutely right? The best experience I've ever done in my life. Honestly. I, I said you would enjoy it. I know everyone's a little bit scared of helicopters because of... Um, sorry, there's a plane taking off. People get nervous about helicopters because, like, that you think with a helicopter, if the rotors stop, it just crashes, like... But, you know, it was good fun, man. It was awesome. I'd, I'd probably do it again, if I'm being honest. You know. So fun. Yeah, I can't begin to explain how good it feels to have done that. Like, that was so spontaneous and random as well. We weren't planning on flying today. We had no intentions of getting up this morning and thinking, right. We just came for a drive. We were, because we catched the ferry back at five o'clock, back to the mainland, and we were like, right, well, what can we do? We've got a bit of time to kill. We're just going to go for a little drive. Um, but then, yeah, we, we just, I can't even get my words out because I'm still, like, buzzing from that experience. If you get, honestly, if you get a chance to go for a little flight and you live on the island or you come in for a holiday or a day out or whatever, come over, go on a helicopter ride and uh, just have a look at the view of the island from the sky, mate. It's, 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 it's what? But I can't even talk. What's wrong with me? I can't even talk. Oh, mate, I'm buzzing. Anyway, we are now back in the car. We're back actually on the... Going for the drive. We're now actually going for the drive that we should have gone on from the start. <laughs> Once again, chairs driving. Is that a better driver? No, we're not having this again. No, you're not. All right, you're not. Two great sides, the view and the uh, Subaru Impreza in front of me. <laughs> that Subaru overtook about four cars behind us and he's now sitting up the arse of a Honda Civic. It's just brilliant. All right, ladies and gentlemen, get ready for some of the best views from the Isle of Wight. Incredible. This is fresh water. Fresh water golf course is the other side of these brambles. No, I'm not taking the piss when I say these are the best views. Not these. This isn't the best view. The best view would be literally over this brow and down the other side. Insane. Ice cream van! <clears throat> I don't know what happened to my voice there, it just went weird. So we've just driven down that hill uh, to this point. Oh look, Spitfire. This Spitfire has been flying over these cliffs and over these seas all week. Oh my God, it's incredible. Listen to that Spitfire. Oh, Jesus Christ, this is a dodge. Okay. I'm scared.
Amazing though, mate. So incredible. I just literally put my camera over the edge of that cliff. I saw, I saw. I'll tell you what, mate, don't get close to the edge. Um, it's no, a I'm hella not. long way down, mate. See, I'm one of the dogs, how high down it is. Yeah, man, it's so scary. <laughs> I've just realised over in that hill in the distance. Yeah. There's a manor house. Look how cool that is. I wonder if that's haunted. That could be a haunted house. If that was an abandoned empty house, I'd be so going there one night to do like paranormal investigating. Oh mate, fresh water. Hi guys. What have we stopped here for? What's no, Jason no. doing? Oh, no. What's happened to Joey? <laughs> Getting something out his boot. Did something come out? <laughs> something fell out his boot, I think. <laughs> It's just stunning. Like the other day when we came up here and it was so windy, it was like mad, but this is so sick. Onwards and upwards. Continue on A3055 for two miles. Stop interrupting me, woman. Right, KFC then. KFC drive through babe. Okay. Head back to mainland. I gotta say, Isle of Wight has been amazing. From start to finish. Back to reality, back to work. So that I can do it all again. Come on another holiday. What a day. Beautiful island. Lovely helicopter ride. KFC. Beautiful drive around fresh water. Now it's time to head back to uh, the ferry port. Right, so we made it to the ferry port. Our boat leaves in about five minutes time. And no, they haven't got us on yet. Well, still a lot. No cars actually got on the boat, and the boat leaves in yeah, literally five minutes. But what's even more concerning is um, mother-in-law and uh, and Jason and two of our other kids are in another car in a Fiesta, and they're nowhere to be seen. <laughs> they absolutely know it. So if they got stuck in traffic or they're lost, then we'd be waving like that to them as they get on the next boat. Priorities. <laughs> You would laugh your head off. You oh, would be would. you would be howling. I would probably wet my knickers. <laughs> I still can't see them. This is like oh as you know guys, we made it here. Um now the mother-in-law made it, but when she got to the security desk, they turned around and said no, she's they, not allowed on. They said go to the pub, come back in 20 minutes. So they gotta get on the next one. And Jason is absolutely so. fuming. <laughs> Not only did they get lost, He'd not be only so did pissed he have off to though, stop mum, because several times because his car kept saying Think about it like this. Open. If we didn't go back to Shanklin to get that magnet, they would have made it on this boat. <laughs> and that is going to make it ten times worse for him. <laughs> He's going to crucify you for that magnet for the rest of your life. Oh, mate. Blame the magnet. There they are, parked up over there in the little black fiesta. Jason is going to be absolutely <laughs> unimpressed. Stop laughing, Ollie. Not funny. I feel a bit bad though because they got lost and they finally made it here with seconds to spare and they've been told they can't get on. <laughs> Thank you.
the car. We have arrived back home. Just waiting to get off. Well, actually, get off. Get off this boat, and then we can drive down to uh, yeah, Sunny Gorlwing. I'm not one to complain normally, but we were we were checked in for the five o'clock ferry. We got there on time, but we weren't allowed on the ferry. So they've basically given us some coffee vouchers to use on the ferry. Get on the ferry to use the coffee vouchers and the fucking coffee shop shop. So it's just basically the guy at the port said before we got on, not only did we get the coffee vouchers, but we have a right to com complain to White Link and we would be entitled to compensation. <laughs> so given the fact that I was given free coffee vouchers and couldn't get a free coffee, I am actually now going to go down the process of complaining to White Link, because if I get a free um, ferry crossing both ways, it means I can come back to the Isle of Wight sooner, and I'm down with that, mate. If I can get back to the Isle of Wight, you know, before the year's out mm. on the ferry, fucking hell, happy days. And I would go sooner rather than later when the weather's warm, you know what I mean? We could go over for the weekend or something. Love it, go back in the helicopter. helicopter. We could actually go, we could drive, get the ferry back over, go to Shankly and Premier Inn, stay there yeah. for two nights. We and we still do. got, that way we still got the car and we can still get around and yeah. we can do stuff. Definitely. Come on, come on. Come on, come on, come on. Literally five hours later, we're still sitting here on the bloody ferry. Are we, to seven. are we actually going to get off here tonight? Was it really? Yeah. It's ten to seven, mate, and we were meant to be on the five o'clock ferry. Are you actually insane? Would we be home by now if you were on the last ferry? Yeah, of course we would. Oh well, this is fun, isn't it? Stuck on a ferry. Best life ever. Honestly. That's the best one, have a competition. <laughs> oh no, that's awful. <laughs> Not me. <laughs> oh Mom, my no. god, that's terrible. Mom, I did do it. Ten. Go on. So much. That was like a wrap. I ain't paying 10 Turn grand left, for a 5 grand left, van, right. man. <laughs> <laughs> Who would you think you are, the next Dizzy D Rascal? Dizzy Rascal? You said that like a northerner. Dizzy Rascal. Dizzy Rascal. Right, so we just got back from a holiday, and whilst we've been away, my mum and dad have been in here decorating the kids' bedrooms, and I just want to share that with you right now, what they have done. Before, it was trashy. To be fair, my kid, younger two kids are drawn on the walls. They look rubbish, mate. So here goes. Here's their new room. So start with the boys. Noah and Harvey. Oh, look at it. Oh my God. Look at that. What a wall. Oh wow. And that's nice. Look, no more drawings on that wall. It's nice and clean. It's clear. Wow. No, I've got Nanny cards. and Grandad have done an amazing job. They sorted all these into the girls' room now. Look. Wow, look at your walls. They've got butterflies on them. Nice pink. Wow, this is much better. This is amazing. Bella's going to love it sleeping in her new cot. Wow. Cool, man. And that is how we are wrapping up this Isle of Wight 2019 vlog. I had to spread it over three videos just because otherwise it would have been like a two hour video and nobody really wants to sit and watch a two hour video on YouTube. Even the most diehard YouTube enthusiast will not sit and watch a video for two hours. So 
yeah, we are wrapping up this uh, three-part vlog here. I really hope you guys have enjoyed watching. It's been amazing to share these memories with you guys. And, um, you know, if you have enjoyed the videos, please, please, please give them all a big thumbs up. It would mean so much to us. And if you are new, then simply smash that subscribe button. It'd be really great to have you guys come and hang with us. I know we don't upload quite as often as we used to. If we can upload something and share you know, parts of our lives with you guys and share our stories, you know, our lives and our memories and stuff, then that is like, it, it, you know, it's great for us to do, so we have something to look back on, but it's also nice for us to um, just share these good times with you guys, you know, and hopefully uh, inspire you guys to have good times with your families and everything. Look after yourself, stay awesome, peace out.